Okay, so it's been a lot of talk in the garden about pests. Look at my collard green. At least I think that's what this is. It don't matter. It's a brassica. They all in the same family. Um, look at that. Skeletonized. Look at that. But let me show you what's doing that. I found they butt stuff. That here we go. Y'all see that worm right there? And he ain't the only one. That's just the one I see right now. I have picked off. Look, look. This. Ain't nothing left but the veins. Ain't nothing left but the veins. But the good thing is, they haven't. I, I picked them all off. This tender stuff down here is one down. And let me see if I can zoom in on his behind. Can you see him right there on the edge? Right at the end of my finger right there. On the edge of that stem. Well, let me show you what I'm going to use this time. Now, I got an old video. That's my wonder spray. And I will link it in this video. Click up there. And you'll see a little card for it. But this is what they put on clearance at Walmart. They marked it down to a dollar because it's the end of the season. They're trying to get rid of all that garden and stuff. You know, here soon they'll be putting in all that other holiday stuff. Uh, 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 you know, uh, I can't, my, I just went blank. Uh, uh, Halloween and all that kind of stuff. So they're going to get rid of the garden and stuff. So they marked this down to a dollar. Uh, this is final sad. It's supposed to be natural. Um, and you see all the stuff it said kills bag worms, boars, beetles, caterpillars, calling moth, gypsy moth, loopers, leaf miners, spider mites, tent caterpillars, thrips, and more. And it's got a little thing you can open up and you can read everything that it uh kills. But we're gonna spray his behind. Let me let me spray you. I'm gonna spray them directly, but I'm gonna spray the whole plant. I'm trying to get the front and the backs of the leaves because honestly, they really be on the back of the leaves like a lot. But my thinking is if they eating the leaves, they not just eating the back. Obviously, they eating all the way through. So, I ain't gonna lie. I get them same worms every year. This ain't nothing new to me. Um, but I'm gonna tell you right now the middle, the middle of where it grows from spray that good because they really like the tender stuff. If you look at this outer tougher stuff, they it's like they prefer the tender new growth. Um, that's my worst plant. I had, I picked a lot of them off of there. I picked probably 40 or 50 of them off, all different sizes, and they was all the same worm, but they was different sizes and different um at different points in the growth stage. Some of them was just hatching out, some of them was you know. Ridiculous. But they leave the kale alone. If they got collars or something to eat, I notice they don't really eat my kale. If this is ate up, they'll jump over to my kale. I noticed that. Now, I will say this. This works on aphids. I don't know if it had, did it have aphids on the front of here? It's not saying nothing about aphids. And it's also saying borers. I don't know if that's the vine borer or not, but I hope so. But I, I think I got mine licked, y'all. I had to dig them out of them vines. See how, see how all my stuff is ate up. And I'm gonna be honest. The only reason I'm not caring that much, I actually do care about the sprouting broccoli because I was eating that. Um, but I'm not uh, just like really. See that good one right there. He on the top. Can y'all see him right there? They usually don't be on the top, but. Um, I get I get this like this every year. This is nothing new to me, and it ain't no need to me uh, stressing about it because it's nothing I can do to it. Oh, uh, I tell you what is fun when you pick the worms off, lay them out somewhere out in the open, like like on your driveway on the concrete or something, or up under a tree. You can watch the birds swoop down and eat them. Y'all have to forgive me. I I take pleasure and stuff like that. Look look on the back of there. Y'all see them? Oh, put y'all down in the tree now. Okay. Anyway, there's about four or five of them right here. So I'm gonna soak y'all real good. I'm about out of this bottle. I have been using it, y'all. So that's why this bottle is uh, kind of it's pretty much out. But I bought four bottles. I bought, I bought all it had, which is about five bottles. 
So I'm gonna go get the next bottle and I'm gonna keep spraying. And the wasps, that's another thing. These wasps, wait a minute, can y'all even, this stuff. I got something on the lens or something. There we go. Y'all was all zoomed in. Wait a minute, let me show y'all them ones one more time. But y'all might come see that. I can't see nothing. Yeah, y'all see them worms on that leaf, all them little gray spots. But I have been noticing these wasps. I've noticed the wasps will get worms and tow them off. And that's the funnest thing to watch. Um, but I guess the wasps can't eat them all. I guess it's too many worms. I guess, see how he's flying around? I think he knows his worms over here. He's just looking for them. But I've seen them laying down on there, bite them, and then like tow them off somewhere. And I don't know where they take them to. I don't know if they take them to their babies or what. But anyway, so I'm going to give y'all an update and show y'all how it's looking. We ain't supposed to get rain for a while. I assume if it rains, it's going to wash this stuff off. Um, that's how most natural stuff is. Uh, so if we, we're not supposed to get no rain for a while. So I'm going I'm to come back with an update and show y'all how this stuff worked. So this kind of be like a mini review or whatever, but I have used it on aphids and it worked fabulously because my peas had aphids all over my spray, this stuff. Next day, aphids gone. So um, y'all be looking for the update. Thanks for tuning in. Please like and subscribe. And until um, next time, I'll see you guys later.